Hey folks, in this video I'm going to be showing you a few highlights of the Runeberg VR plugin, which is a plugin for the Unreal Engine 4. It's developed in C++ and exposes um, a lot of um, nodes in Blueprint so you can easily um, create your own virtual reality experience um, using Unreal. All right, so let's go on with it. You got the, what you get with the plugin is you have a pre-configured virtual reality pawn. So all set up for you with the motion controller, the camera, all the settings are there. So it's um, basically a drag and drop. You'd also get a couple of components here, but we'll only be tackling um, a couple of them, um, which came with the, um, with the plug-in demo levels that I'll be publishing in GitHub. First off, you've got the grabber component, which um, gives you basic grabbing functionality um, in virtual reality, and it's uh, fully customizable. Um, you can even um, do a grab sun mechanic uh, or grab sky mechanic, which allows you to cycle over day and night by just grabbing the sun or the sky sky sphere and then moving uh, left or right, and then you get the daytime and nighttime cycle. So all done for you. And you can, of course, do some uh, yeah normal grabbing. You can grab something from, from afar as well. Uh, pull and push objects, throw things uh, around um, in virtual reality as you see fit. And as I mentioned, there's um, a lot of um, customization that you can do with this um, using just blueprints and just tweaking a lot of the variables that came with the blueprint nodes. All right, and you also get a VR movement component, which allows um, a couple of um, interesting VR movement mechanics, including free movement, so you can just fly around. So as you can see um, in this demo, I'm flying around in a surfboard, in a flying surfboard, and just moving around in 3D space, and just, yeah, just having a little bit of fun. Also, with um, obviously, you can do a lot with this um, VR movement um, plugin. Um, component plugin, sorry, and be able to tweak a lot of the variables so that you can um, limit the movement into one axis, for example. For example, you don't want to fly, but you just want to skate through uh, a plane. So you could do that. And you could also, um, it also respects um, navigation bounds, nav mesh bounds if you need to uh, for your experience or game. All right, another um, interesting component that uh, I've demoed in the um, in the levels that I'm going to be uploading in GitHub is the teleporter. So you've got three different kinds of um, teleport mechanics here. You've got the standard arc mechanic and the beam mechanic. So you could um, use either of them or both in your, um, in your VR experience or game. Um, there's also a third one, which I um, haven't gotten the time yet to um, incorporate into a demo level, but the functionality is there, uh, so you can play around with it. Uh, it's a blink mechanic, so you could um, spawn just a marker and be able to move the marker around for more granular control of where you want to go. All of these um, teleport mechanics um, respect nav mesh bounds, and so you could check um, against the nav mesh bounds if you hit a valid um, place where you can teleport to. All right, so, um, and just a bit of a bonus, some experimental stuff that I've been working on. So there is a scalable mesh um, level where you can do um, scalable meshes. So f f just for some fun, so you could just scale uh, meshes and do some interesting and nifty stuff, which um, I think some some of these mechanics could, uh, would be familiar from, from movies or other games um, you've played with. So just something um, that I've thrown in there and for you to have a little bit of fun with. All right, so a couple of um, notes with this um, release as of this recording. So it's um, quite fresh, The um, a lot of the modifications, and there were a lot of modifications from V1. So um, there might be a few bugs, so just let me know. And yeah, but I've um, tried to test and polish a lot of the um, functionality. I know from um, fact the grub sun and grub sky, there's a bit of a rotation issue, but um, I'm gonna be ironing that out in the um, next um, minor releases. And I guess in the future, I'm also looking at as of this recording a motion recording or a motion recognition, gesture recognition, sorry, um, 
mechanics so that you um, also for free. All of the source code for this, the C++ source code is available in um, GitHub. So you can um, just grab it from there. So all it's um, it's free. It's under the MIT license. So have fun and yeah, and see you on the next video.